Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode two of Forward and Back Again, a cocktail. Technically, episode one, since last time was zero. That's true. You know, as the you official. You can't put the pressure on me to have an episode two in the bag already. That's true. As the official lore keeper of Final Fantasy XIV, Jesse Cox, you <laughs> <Right>. are correct. <laughs> who, what, who, is this your butterfly? What, what's this butterfly doing here? You see this? Yeah, one of our amazing guildmates gave me this butterfly, and now it sits on my head and loves me. Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, well, let's. And I have uh, a Moogle rod. Another guildmate gave me a Moogle rod, oh, and now I have a Moogle. And whenever I use it, a Moogle flies up. I'm doing the best. I'm living my best life right now. You're doing great. You're doing. Our great. guild is fantastic, or FC, as the kids call it. As that, yeah, in the biz, that's what it's known as in the biz. Yeah. Uh, Crown of Thorn is, is fantastic. Best FC. Did you know at one point in... Sh I think it was Stormblood. On like the official Final Fantasy VII website, there was a ranking. 14. For, yeah, Final Fantasy... Or sorry, Final Fantasy fourteen. yeah. There was a ranking of like top guilds per activity, and we were there. We were number one. I believe it. I believe it. I have pretty much non-stop seen amazing people uh there's one of them right there yeah right we're everywhere it's fantastic it's good stuff i'm really pleased that there's so many really nice people uh i think the fc just capped again for oh, recruitment. Really? they booted a bunch of people and then it recapped yeah it's awesome uh i, I think 5.3 is definitely bringing them back so i figured it it you know maybe we should have began episode zero but episode zero i think was a test and the test was a resounding success. People want to know about the Chronicles of Jesse Cox. Little JC, as he's known, uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. So we're starting here in the Waking Sands, a very familiar uh, spot to a lot of Final Fantasy XIV players. But we're going to do a little I bit think, different. I think we're moving. I don't. Where I'm at in the story right now is they're like, we should leave. This place sucks. So I think we're moving to the new quest hub area okay. that I've been going to a bunch. I think that's what's happening. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, I figure we'll fly around for a little bit. Jesse, why don't you join me in my car? First off, I think you're a little too young to be driving that car. <laughs> Get in the car, instead, Jesse. <laughs> instead, why don't you join me? I can't. My I can't. little boy. <laughs> Look at this precious little boy. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could ride. Jesse, right click Look, me. He even has butterflies. It's a theme. Jesse. Wait, are those? Oh, he does have butterflies. You're right. Yeah. He You're has right. his own butterflies going on. Get into the regalia. You you recognize this car, right? Of course I do. Okay. My favorite part about this is uh, when I get in, mm -hmm. it gives me options. First yeah. seat, second seat, or third seat. Depending on which you choose, you pose like each of the boys from 15. You do. So if I pick seat two... I'm in the back looking out the window. <laughs> you look so creepy. Is that I, the prompto spot? I believe so. I believe he sits back here. Who's, it's is amazing. It, Ignis is in the front and prompto. And, yeah, Iggy drives yeah. and then Noctis rides up front. Yeah. And then the boys sit in the back. Yeah. Great. Okay. I figured this seems like now, a good Now I'm uh, like a little kid being driven around an Uber. It's yeah, great. Yeah, it's great. I figured we'll <laughs> we'll drive around in this. We'll kind of take a tour of Fantastic. Uh, baseline Eorzea. So what have you been doing the past, I don't know, four or five days, Jesse? Where, where have oh you been? Oh, my God. So I got to end game of uh, A Realm Reborn, which I think we mentioned before. Yeah. And I was like, okay, what is there to do? Everyone was like, dude, get to Heaven Sword, get there, do that whole thing. And I was like, I don't know that i want to do that yet because i kind of want to see what existed at the time of a realm reborn and that ending sure um so i wrote down notes this week i did the following okay i went around because people were like oh pick up the blue quests they're definitely related to what you're trying to do Absolutely. blue quests are like important things that will unlock stuff in the game for you i was like okay i did not realize there were so many it was overwhelming. There's there were, a lot of things in this game, Jesse. Yes. And it was it was everything from uh, accepting a blue quest that took me to a guy, that took me to another guy, that suddenly now I'm unlocking uh, uh, missions for the Beastmen. 
So now I have three oh, beast men beast factions tracks. I can do missions for, which I will not, by the way. But they, I can if I want to. Do you want to see what you could potentially get from the beast man? Um, sure. What is it good? Is it useful? Okay, Jesse. Because Cox. it seems like a grind, me, and I'm like, I don't this, feel like grinding. Let me get this card to a little halt right here, and uh, yeah, let me let me just show you one of the things that you can acquire from the a Realm Reborn Beast Man. Okay. It is a mount. It is, I think, one of my, I would say, top maybe ten mounts easily. Okay, that's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and I can sneeze on you. On command. That is amazing. I love every <laughs> bit of that. The on command sneeze. Uh, you that's get incredible. I I did learn that, that mounts have actions this yes, week. I was unaware of this. I On all the mounts that I have, I do not have any actions until someone said, hey, you can actually go unlock actions for some of your mounts. And I was like, but what do you mean? And I found out that with my match tech armor, which, by the way, plays the Final Fantasy VI opening number. It does. Which is just amazing. It does. But I can blow stuff up. Yep. And I can just shoot things. You can. It doesn't do any damage, but it looks cool. It does. Yeah. Yeah. There's absolutely no reason for that. There absolutely is no reason. So for that. I yeah I unlocked that and uh, a lot of a lot of quests that uh, I got Blue Mage unlocked and okay. I found out apparently Blue Mage isn't even a real. It's a fake job. I guess job. it's not a real job. It's kind of like a uh, job that you use for a side event thing where you unlock the abilities, and then you go to an arena Correct. and fight there. Correct. That upset me. Jesse, I, I wish it was more. I'm sorry. To, did you see this bunny's name? Taylor Swift. Very nice. I like it. Uh, it's a lot of bunny girls in this game. I've noticed that there's girls. a lot of bunnies. A lot of cats, a lot of potatoes. Yeah. Uh, not that much else. <laughs> not very much. Uh, El El I know. Is it Elelzen? Elizen? Elven. Elves. They're essentially elves. Fuck it. That's what they are. I don't. <laughs> also, yeah, I didn't see much of them. I just took you on a little tour of uh, the saucer, by the way. You can get one of these mounts right here. This guy, except he constantly just spins around. So amazing. I love that too. It's really goofy. Yeah, I went to the gold saucer and that was neat. And I was overwhelmed by that. And I was like, I can't wait to come back here and just spend a few hours looking around. Um, yeah, I, I just went around and did all these quests. I even got a quest that was like, go unlock an ancient staff. And I was like, okay, sure. It took me four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Based on that wait, one what? quest, I had to. The relic? The relic quest? Is that what that is? The relic quest. Oh, yes. I was, okay. All right. That and unfortunately, sense. the relic quest, the whole point I was, of me doing it was so that I could unlock it because the weapon I have is better than it. Yeah. But I was hoping that I could use the skin as a glamour. It won't let me do it. Um, For some reason, the glamour won't work and it won't let me put it in my armoire or anything. It just won't let me do it. I, I need to investigate that because I couldn't figure it out to save my life. Yeah, I don't think you can glamour old relics or maybe any relics i'm my knowledge on that is a little bit i've never done i've done some of the relic grind but i've never done the relic grind sure. um yeah i i had no it's a clue. Lot. it was i was all i wanted was something did you see something amazing no i'm just kind of you know going back here oh. this is uh this is yeah. one of the busier noob hubs uh i'm kind of checking out look at that look at that hand right there that is one of the uh enemies you fight it is it is when indeed. you go fight the empire I, uh, so yeah, I, I did that. I got this long ass quest and during that quest, I got a bunch of, Hey, go fight all of the, uh, primals again. Right. So by doing that, I unlocked hard mode primals. Correct. And by doing the hard mode primals just today, I unlocked extreme mode primals. I'm like, Oh, great. Cool. Can't <laughs> wait for this. Yeah. Um, and then I went through and decided to do the holiday quest cause I figured that would be fun. And the holiday quest, here's all I'm going to say. Are you talking this about the, game, the summer the summer quest? Yeah, the summer oh, holiday so you, quest. Oh, you know where my you, hat's from, my beautiful hat. I have that entire outfit as well. The and hat I is great. Say, I, I want to say this because it's it, it means so much to me. Okay. If I had to compare the summer holiday in WoW to the summer holiday in Final Fantasy XIV. Sure. 
The summer holiday in Final Fantasy XIV is this. You go to Costa del Sol, you go through a few cutscenes where it's like, there's a shark in the water, and it's very jawsy. Then you use the awesome power of dance uh -huh. to empower a bomb uh -huh. that blows up the shark. Correct. And for it, you get half of all the items, ingredients, whatever you want to call it, that you need for gear. Correct. So you just have to do it twice, and you can do it twice in the same day, and you get everything you need. Takes 15 minute max, maybe. And compared to WoW, there's still some things from that summer event I haven't gotten 15 years later. Because <laughs> the amount of time needed and investment needed to run around and do the dailies, and like, I this game respects your time in a way that I was unex like, I was unprepared for. Some things, a lot. Of, let's say a lot of things in this game respect your time. We should. I mean, talk obviously, things like the grind for the the beast men. Uh, there's no way I'm doing that because that's. We should I don't want to do that. That actually only takes about five or ten minutes a day for two weeks, and so then you're done. Um, that's still too much commitment for me. What <laughs> I was going to say is, single. if you plan on checking out more seasonal stuff we should talk after you mess around a little bit with the yokai event which is starting here i think sometime this upcoming week it is sure it is a, a grind it is a lot. I, I will say that a lot of my beliefs so far are based and colored in the fact that you know when i'm like hey does anyone want to go do this dungeon people are like yes immediately and then they're all level 80 and we stomp it. Like, right. obviously, That's where cool. I exist in this game is is an easy breezy version of what it actually is. Um, but, I, you know, there are things that I'm curious about just experiencing stuff before I keep plowing ahead towards things that are my current level. Of course. Um, that I, like, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, to interject real quick, it is one of my favorite things about this game that you can go back and do any of this quote old content at any given time and there's always people doing it even if you don't have an fc because the way the game's like structured is you can just queue for this stuff and find people because it's pretty open in the sense of you can queue for it and it'll just down rank you and like your gear and everything you don't have to like change gear it just changes it all for you in terms of the stats and then you can do it whatever it may be um so yeah it, it there is, were some it things is nice in that way there's some things in the duty finder like doing the duty roulette or you know all the different things there that that were super easy yeah. doing normal dungeons and not and what i mean by easy is easy to get groups for um there were the dungeons both normal and hard were easy to get groups for things like um doing the the, the different raid bosses like doing the primals that was easy to, to get groups for yeah the things that i think were a problem that was tough were things like the chimera or the hydra the things that were for a relic reborn that specific mission they're under the uh trials portion of the game right and they're level 50 trials but they're so hyper specific that when i signed up for it it was like it'll take 15 minutes to find a group and then 15 minutes came and went and it was because no one's out there looking for it yeah like, no i mean actively so, trying to do those right now some of that is dependent on you were i mean not making excuses for the game but you were queuing as a dps it may or may not have been in off hours i would be interested to see if you tried for that queue right now like if it would be more uh, or less, sure. depending on, you know, prime time on a Saturday when the game just had a giant resurgence of players. Well, the good but news is there's literally a button you can press that's like, oh, you have a level 80 in your group? Well, you don't have to queue at level. You can go light party, and the level 80 will one-shot the boss. Right. Yes. So there that's what that. I did. I was like, yeah. hey, all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the Chimera stuff, uh, if you get lucky enough and you're just trying to do that for XP, that's the one where you, like, get excited because it's just walk up a hill and kill a guy. Right. If I if I remember yeah. correctly. Or maybe maybe that's a different one. Is the Chimera the actual Chimera? I forget. Yes, yeah, yeah. The Chimera comes out. It's in the dungeon like Hanali Lolly or something like that. It's the one where you run through it and it's kinda of like a gauntlet where you fight other adventurers and uh okay. gladiators. It's been too and then long. You go it, back it, to that same dungeon and there's like a Chimera. It's been too long. I, I don't recall everything. So anyway. Yeah, I mean and then yeah. Yeah, so then this week I, I posted a bunch about the fact that I did that quest line with the 
creepy girl from the yeah. party that you meet like early on in the game. And I love that they did that. They gave that little group a story. Yeah. And it in, it ended in like a horror movie. It's very that, creepy. Yeah, it was great. I was so blown away by that. And um, then you apparently unlock a multi-level dungeon that is something of the dead. I'm not sure what it's called. But Palace you, of the Dead. Yeah, you fight through... And every 10 levels, it does like a little like, okay, you're saved kind of. And you accumulate items and you build up uh, your damage over time as you go through it. And we made it to level 50, which let us beat her, question mark. And I got a ring because like she comes back there. Right. And I got a ring. And then I took the ring to the Lalafell that was in their group. And like there was a great ending to it. Maybe because people are like, dude get to floor 200 and i'm like what yeah so that that caps out of floor 250 is the starting point well one is the starting point but by, like you said it it's stag uh staggers where you can kind of start but if you're going for 200 you'll be wanting to start at uh, and only able to start at 50 but you can kind of pause every 10 levels essentially um yeah it was uh it's a it lot, was though. it was awesome if not long <laughs> yeah it uh I've done it. Tw I've been to floor 199 twice. The first time I got there, uh, I won't blame the person. I've already blamed them enough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> essentially, it, it becomes uh, very, very scary in terms of how many mobs you can handle. And if you over pull or over aggro or anything like that, it's just a straight up wipe because there's so many traps. And I you, believe that you can kind of get lucky with like floors and stuff like that. Uh, so we wiped it 199, and then we immediately jumped back in and, and cleared it at 200. Um, there's a second one of those as well, which I won't talk about other than just say that there is another one of those in a later expansion. Interesting. And it's um, not going down, is how I'll say. Gotcha. <laughs> so yeah. I um, I mean, other than that, I did the ludicrous quest line to unlock the first raid i was told apparently there's one raid per expansion yes um 24 so i did raid. that quest line it was long <laughs> it was what? What? it took me all of a day to do it was it for the but eight it wasn't man or like the 24 it, man the 24 okay all right so the alliance raid yeah, yeah 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 um it took me forever to get that done but it was neat i'm glad that i did it i i have the quest to go in there now so i feel like i'll probably corral some guildies to doing that Trying to think uh, which at one. Some point. Let, me, let me look at my regular duty and see what that is right off the top of my head. Uh... Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Wait, which one did you unlock? Uh, Labyrinth of I the Ancients, have, let me Circus just look at Tower, my... World of Darkness. I have quest wise right now. I have it... Labyrinth of Ancients. Okay, Labyrinth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's there's two other ones uh, at level fifty. Um, oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I imagine so because this one is going to the crystal. Because in the background for many zones now has been a giant effing crystal palace. Right. And I've been like, what is that? Yeah. So I finally got access to it, and uh, that was neat. Sid and I, Sid, Biggs, Wedge, and I, we went on a little adventure. It was great. Jesse showed up a little bit. It was fun. Um, <laughs> I got that. I my quest log right now is literally go fight extreme uh Garuda. Go fight okay. uh this this these two brand new level fifty dungeons that I haven't done yet. Oh and which then ones are those? a quest everyone told me to get that I'm gonna save until I'm good and ready for the adventure called The Rise and Fall of Gentlemen. Okay. Alright. So are you are you gonna you should probably stream that. I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait until. I'm either gonna stream it or make a, just a straight up video and stick it out you on, on YouTube or something. It, it because is. Because everyone keeps telling me how good it is, and I'm like, all right, if you want to see my reaction, I'll do a reaction thing. It. If there was a way to like distill, Jesse Coxian, let's let's just call it Coxian humor, into <laughs> a a quest, uh, in an MMO, it would be that. Quest line. I'm very excited. I'm excited that it's in this expansion and not a future one. They it, gave it, it to us it early. Goes, yeah, it, it goes across a multitude of like there there are follow up quests uh, to it. Fantastic. So it is uh, 
I've, I've only done one of them, um, but I know like Dodger has done them and she, it, she swears like they're just ridiculous. Aaron's done them as well. They're just absolutely ridiculous across the board. Well, that's what I'm here for. I'm ready for that. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to unlock all the things, not necessarily trying to do everything, but I want to unlock them in case in the future I do decide to do a thing. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, smart. You know, I've, I've been trying to figure out how the armoire works back in my room. Yeah. Because some things they'll let me put in and some things it's like, nah. I'm like, what? Yeah. Usually the, the rule of thumb is your level 50 um, class gear can go in there. So like the blue class gear that I'm sure you got. Uh, your AF right. armor, I think, is, is it's referred to in the game. Um, and then like gear that has a cool look to it that doesn't really have any stats that can generally go in there as well as like that's what i've noticed gear. so far but yeah. like a great example is it will take it will take the moogle hat but not the spriggan hat Weird. i don't know these rules i you, can't figure them out i didn't I, know that like, I, yeah i will not i keep trying to put the spriggan hat in it's like no nah, dude only moogle hat i'm like what yeah, you should be able to put the, the, the Spriggan hat into the glamour, though. You should have 400 slots. Yeah, yeah, it can go in the glamour, but for some reason it won't go in the armoire. Yeah, like... I don't know. I don't know the rules. The game has so some I issues. I keep giving stuff to my attendants. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. The, the game definitely... I made, I made a group of beautiful redheads, and they just <laughs> cater my whims. It's great. The game great. definitely is, is still kind of trying to understand how they want to approach the, um, the world of transmog. In the sense right. of, I, I feel like if WoW is kind of the gold standard or, or up there um, in the world of transmog and in terms of how it works, Final Fantasy still is kind of trying to grasp that. Some of it is like, you know, limitations by software in terms of storing all of the items on the server and kind of dealing with sure. all that crap. But yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, WoW's transmog system only got good when they were like, we'll let you do more things. Right. Sure. So I feel like, you know, if 14 wants to really get up there, they just let people make things more the way they want them. Yeah. It, you know, yeah. It's just looks. It's not like eventually everyone's going to have. I, I was grouped with a group of people the other day. Their weapons were the coolest things I've ever seen. I'm like, eventually everyone's going to have cool stuff. That's just how these games work. Oh, uh, you were probably grouped with like uh, Caitlin and them, uh, Poss and Gerard and. I don't know why I said. I don't. I do not know. Pascal, <laughs> Eureka. I don't remember. I don't remember which group it was. I've been in a lot of groups. Okay. With if they, a lot if of they had like the super the glowy game. weapons, then it was probably them. Those are those are pretty actually hard to require. Those, those specific weapons are hard to require. But yeah, what uh, what you said you had two hardcore dungeons open. I'm curious what those are. Um, the two that I I is have. It... Uh, on Ampador my duty keep? finder, I have a list of dungeons that are like on my ah, this is what I love to complete. Um, right now I have uh Am to Poor Keep hard mode. Okay. To, to do oh, we just switched a zone. So, oh yeah. yeah, I just screwed I yeah, sorry about that. We're good. It's We're all bad. right. It's all right. I'll just press U. <laughs> um and then uh the Brave Flock Slong Stop apparently is one. Oh, uh, yeah. Hard mode. Okay. Yeah. And then... That one's pretty cool. Hawk... Who... Ha, who Manor? Ha, Hawk Manor? Manor? Yeah, that one's... Uh, yeah, I have to do that on hard mode. Pretty cool. And the Copper Bell Mines on hard mode. Yeah. And I have to do Pharaoh Sirius. Yeah. Uh, Ferris is actually a pretty cool dungeon. It actually has really good music. It looks neat. I've been... That's yeah. one of those... Again, another one of those places where i keep going by it and i'm like that palace looks amazing there's like a crystal shard sh through yeah. it that's so cool there's uh, yeah there's a lot of there's two actual there, dungeons glad, there yeah i'm glad there's a lot of places in this game where when i see it eventually it's like oh you're going to that place rather than just being like a cool landmark my biggest worry is that there were all these cool landmarks but none of them would matter and i'm glad i'm going to them which is nice it's a big ass tree look at that that's the ant Oh my god, some big ass scorpions. We're getting the battle music. Yeah. I like how the music cues and it's like, no, no, no. We got places <laughs> nah, to be. No, we're good. We're good. We don't we don't need to be here. Uh yeah. Alright, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. What how, how are you I mean, like in your class? Me. Like uh, uh, a black mage aside, is fine. Yeah, how do you feel about black I mage? I keep 
I keep thinking about um, how I have a lot of abilities that I feel like aren't useful. So one of these days I'm going to go online and look up a cast order because I feel like there's a lot of it, things yeah. that I'm just not using it and changes I can't so figure much. out their use. As you level, it honestly changes so much. Um, but it's definitely worth doing. Uh, like Black Mages do have a lot of, uh, how will I say, like obtuse abilities that maybe isn't so clear right out of the gate. Um, and like as there's you a great example is I have Scathe, which I think is is part of just being a mage in general. But like that ability, it doesn't serve any use in my cast order. Like I, think I can't figure out where I'd put it. In my, I've only played Black Mage for a certain amount of time, but I think, can you cast Scathe while moving? Is it like Scorch? It is an instant ability. Cast is instant. I think that's um, your, that's like, oh shit, I have to move. I need to waste a GCD ability. Let me get out of this AOE and press this button till I get situated and cast another, I think. I guess you're right. At the same time though, usually my fire three is up and that's an instant cast. Right, yeah, yeah, fire, fire so three So like every time I'm moving, right I'm either casting fire three or my lightning trigger so I can do thunder three yep. on a move. Like, I don't know, I, I, I never have a chance to use it because I'm always, there's always something better, like a better option available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Mage gets really So it really just sits fun. there on my bar. For me, Black Mage got really fun, um, like 60 plus, and then 70, it gets even crazier. Uh, you start getting like super huge, like crazy damage abilities after like you get Fire 4 and Ice 4 and Flare yeah. and like all that stuff. Uh, you should, you I might actually check out, have Flare, but yeah. Yeah, I have Flare. Flare's great. I want to check out some of the, uh, I don't know, maybe Summoner just because it looks interesting. Like I, I want to see if there's... I'm trying to find a class that is like real turn your brain off simple. Yeah. So that's that's my so if I like end up just playing stuff I don't have to think about like all right, what am I going to do? In terms of leveling What's my strategy here. In terms of leveling, summoner's kind of nice cuz you just put dots on a target and then walk away and it'll die essentially. Right. Um in terms of like in game rotation, summoner's like a 2 minute long rotation, so it's a little bit of a brain teaser in terms of trying right, to remember yeah. everything perfectly, but you're not going to really, that's not going to matter so much. Uh, I will say the best way for you to try other classes out is you can do Palace of the Dead starting at level one, and it'll actually go all the way up till I believe 60. And since Palace of the Dead, uh, you get XP on that class so much faster within Palace, like you'll hit level 10 or something by the time you hit uh, floor 10. That's what I actually did. I, uh, yeah. That's how I learned about Fire 4 yeah. and the cast rotation when it comes to like, okay, I have to trigger this and then I get another ability that I have to keep up all the time when I'm cycling right. between fire and ice magic. And so I was learning that. I was like, well, that's interesting. I, I understand what this is eventually going to be like yeah. as a mage. Like, I kind of get it. Yeah, so you, you can do that with any class, uh, essentially, if you're at all curious. I keep thinking about Gunbreaker, mostly because I love the fact that you get a gun blade. You'll have Even to... though everyone's like that, do avoid that. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think you need to wait till 70 to get the quest to unlock that, unfortunately. Um, Apparently, it looks... It, like it looks neat but it doesn't do much everyone's like you might as well just be a dragoon but i'm like uh, but what if like i don't know yeah you'll figure it out you'll figure it out uh i'm sure i'm giving you giving you wrong advice somewhere so make sure to read the comments for the all knowing yeah, they'll chat. let me know yeah yeah they all know all, all knowing beast that is the internet and uh in chat but cool um i think i'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to speak about i don't think there is I, guess, I mean i guess that's it for now i mean yeah i'll have more updates as time goes on that works what are you doing next i'm gonna, what, da what's I'm in gonna dance for you okay what's in your immediate future uh on my list of things to do i want to try and get all these extreme mode uh primals done i want to run this raid i want to clear all the hard mode dungeons off my list okay and then i'm gonna keep going forward with the story uh right now i have it's possibly a primal that's my main storyline quest gotcha where i guess my crew the scions are trying to leave our remote location and move to an area where everyone's at and i have a bunch of stuff i have to clear out for them and do little mini quests and everyone's like yeah you got stuff to do so i'm like okay I guess that's the plan but right now i literally have only five quests and it's a good five so feeling okay. good all right 
I will say, and we were talking about this on my stream, I feel like the sooner that you get to Heaven's Ward, just even entering into it, you're going to realize, holy shit, this is a completely different game than the one I've been playing so far. I will for sure. It'll be this week for sure. Okay. All right. Uh, because one of the things I think we also need to do, or you need to do maybe on your own, once you finish the A Realm Reborn, Reborn story, and maybe even the Heaven's Ward story, maybe even wait till after that. Uh, no clip. Our friend uh, Danny O'Dwyer did a Danny. amazing documentary on Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and for viewers that haven't seen it as well, and you are if you are a Final Fantasy XIV fan, uh, really worth checking out. It gives you great insight into the game, um, and it does what No Clip always does, and that's you know make you understand kind of the developers' side of things, uh, and makes you honestly give uh, a little bit more respect to kind of what they actually pulled off with A Realm Reborn and, and maybe uh, reasons why the game is the way it is uh, in the sense of what they actually pulled off. So I think we should also add that to your list of things to do somewhere down the line. It's about a three hour document documentary, I think so. But Jesse, I think we're good. I think we're done. I think we're out of here. I think you disconnected. <laughs> so perfect timing. I'll give them the no clip pitch sometime in the future chat. Thank you all for watching. Hey, sorry. He's there's, back. there's someone at my door. There's someone at my door. No, no, no. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. I was wrapping perfect up. Perfect timing. Yeah, perfect timing. I was wrapping up. We're all good. Uh, all right. We'll get cool. you to we'll get you to watch the no clip documentary. Uh that was what yes, I was trying to say. For sure. That's yeah. absolutely what's gonna happen. Yeah. Cool. Uh, when I hit Heaven's Word, I will. All right. Great. I'm gonna go answer my door. There's someone yes, there. Get out of here. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Uh here on episode one of Forward and back again, a cocktail. We'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.